morning everybody. I got a pretty busy day scheduled today. We're approaching finals week and there's a lot of stuff I gotta go over again. I gotta review so I'm thinking instead of going to class which isn't mandatory I'm gonna go to Starbucks and uh, study a little bit. Today's video would be a little bit about studying since I'm studying so much. All right, so a lot of people have been asking me, can you talk about your study skills as an undergrad? And I thought this is the perfect time. I have finals coming up. You guys probably have exams that are coming up. Let's talk about five different things, okay? Five topics I wanna to talk about. That'll help you better yourself as a student and better understand and better study, okay? Number one is taking notes. Taking notes is obviously very important, okay? That doesn't need to be said, but it's the way you take notes that's very, very different from person to person. Personally, I think that taking handwritten notes is the best way to learn. And what I mean by handwritten notes is when you are reviewing content, okay? When you're sitting down and you're reviewing for your exam, take handwritten notes. It'll help you with understanding and retaining the content as well. Okay, so you'll learn it better that way. This is actually tested and proven. Now, I don't recommend you do the whole lecture slide. I don't recommend you copy everything over and just blatantly just list, okay? I think when you take handwritten notes, you should write down the stuff you don't know, okay? Stuff you struggle with. That way, when you review it, when you look over your notes, you remember that's what I wrote and that's where it was and it'll help you understand better. As far as being in a classroom setting and taking notes in a classroom, that's very difficult because professors tend to talk really fast. So I recommend in that sense, in a classroom, take out, whip out your top lap, use your top lap, okay, take notes on there. It's faster and most of us type faster than we do write anyway, so that's okay. Speaking of my top lap, number two, technology. Technology is your friend, okay? In undergrad, technology is your friend. It'll get you so much information, okay? And you can learn so much from it. I recommend that if you find something that you like as far as tech related, don't shy away from it. Embrace technology and use the stuff that's out there in the tech world to help you learn. Stuff like um, Khan Academy. Khan Academy is amazing. If you're struggling in any content, biochem, any pre-med content, it's probably there. It'll help you out. Okay, so use those tools. My personal favorite was this right here, my cell phone. Simply my cell phone. I would record my lectures on my cell phone. If I ever struggled in any content, if I didn't understand it, man, I just go back, review what the professor said, listen to it, bam, game over. I'm done, I understand it much better. Maybe I missed it while I was taking notes, but now I have it. So I recommend you, you download the apps, whatever you need to. And there's a lot more for tech, this is a video on its own and I'm gonna make a video on its own because it's that dense and that's it's that interesting for me. So stay tuned on that. But yeah, don't shy away from tech, number two. Number three, study groups. Study groups are very important, okay? They'll help you teach someone, they'll help you help someone out, but when you're struggling, you can go to your peers and they can give you knowledge to help you understand. So I recommend study groups, but I also recommend a little bit of caution with them. Number one, don't have a big study group because if it's more than like four or five people, man, we all know like y'all are gonna be like hanging out, y'all are just gonna be talking, you're not gonna be really communicating or teaching each other. It's just gonna be like a party kind of. What are you doing, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Such a fanboy. <laughs> so make sure it's a smaller group, more compact. Number two, also make sure that you don't have any leeches. And by leeches, man, I mean those cutthroat people who just want you to teach them, but they won't help you out. It's not a question of whether they know the content or not, they just won't help you. Don't be around those people. Don't be around people with that type of negativity and like aggressiveness. It's not gonna help you out. Remove it, find a very good environment that you're in for a study group. Number three, going to class. Number four, sorry, going to class. I have mixed feelings about this. I think you should go to class if you can, early on especially. If you're starting off undergrad, if you just accepted, just got accepted, if you're starting this year, if you're a freshman or a sophomore, I recommend you go to class as much as possible because that will help solidify your foundation. That's really important, right? Because early on, you don't know what to study, you don't know what not to study, you don't know how to properly study yet. 
So it's very important you go to every class so you can develop those skills. Now, I'll be honest, I did that very early. My first year, I went to every single class. By my fourth year, I barely went to any class. That's not the best thing, but for me, I realized I learn better on my own. I learn better when I teach myself. So when you're later on in your undergrad career, take the time, decide for yourself if going to class is worth it. If it's not, that's okay. But early on, make sure you go to class, okay? Please make sure you go. It'll be very beneficial for you if you do. And then finally, that brings my last and fifth topic I want to talk about, and that is if you are struggling in any class in undergrad, please, please, please do not hesitate to ask for help, okay? Do not. I understand the pre-med culture. I understand it's very cutthroat, and I understand that it's the notion that only the top of the top get into medical school, which is true. Only the best of the best are accepted. But at the same time, asking for help does not mean that you're not the top of the top. It does not mean you're not the best and that you're struggling, okay? It actually is a sign, in my opinion, of showing that you care and you're out there, you're, built, you're willing to go out and get some help. The people who I know who've gotten into medical school were never shy to ask for help to get clarification, not just from the professor or from the TAs, but also from their peers. And even now to this day in medical school, I'm asking my homies, I'm like, yo, I don't understand this, can you help me out? And they'll ask me, yo, I don't understand this, can you help me out? Don't shy away from asking for help, okay? Now, that being said, those are just five quick tips I wanted to give you guys. Um, if you guys have any other topics you want me to talk about, please send me a message, write a comment, I don't mind. I'll definitely respond. Um, if you have anything else you want to ask, by all means, you know, shoot me a message or whatever. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope this was helpful for you. Please, you know, leave me a comment. Please subscribe if you can. That would be very helpful. Please like the video. All that good stuff. I'm going to try to post w videos on a regular basis, okay? Now, this video was very informative. I'm going to try to do more informative type videos, but I'm also going to do vlogs like I've been doing. My next video for next week is going to be a vlog, so stay tuned for that. Now, those vlogs are just to show you guys a different side of medical school. It's not all studying for us, okay? We're doing other things too. We have a life somewhat. It's kind of, not really. But we do, we do do other things. I'm going to get back to studying now because I got work to do. A lot of work to do and it's almost like pretty late. It's almost time for bed, but eh. Gotta do what you gotta do, right? So let's get to it. But please, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. I need your help.